All you bitches broke me to the core Even my best friend don't check up on me But lying telling me that she love me I wrote this in a pool full of pain I wrote this while walking through the rain uh, Yeah, hey, I wrote this while walking through the rain I wrote this while walking through the rain uh, hey, heart throbbing, uh, I feel like pain is a life sentence uh, Gotta get up and keep going, gotta get up and keep going uh, Yeah, I'm like, don't you get too close to me I'm like, don't you get too close What's up everyone, it's Detective Isle here And uh, as you guys already know, we're gonna be talking about the uh, Trail Breaker situation So a lot of people have been getting uh, so quick to hate him Because he did the NFTs and uh, let's just be real here though we are uh, I saw on Friday right so I checked out to see how many people that was really mad and the only way you could tell that is those who unfollowed right and obviously we saw the likes and the comments in there like I believe last time I checked was 11k comments and only like 2,000 likes so check this out if we look at the image here uh, like I said, the announcement was on Friday, which he lost 642. While off the bat, Saturday, 7,953. Now he got a plus three. Maybe people forgive him. They probably listened to a Play Watch Listen where he explained himself where he didn't just wake up and decided to choose NFTs. He had weeks to understand it and understand what the cause was and he basically thought it was a good idea and um, I don't know why people would be hating on that uh, if someone is out there to do something especially that he's risking because um, I believe I've been listening to a lot of uh, controversial stuff um, and one of them was pretty uh, out forward where a lot of people were saying that he's basically allowing people to, he could, people could buy him and say anything they want, which could be an issue for his platform unless the people know that someone used him as a NFC versus actually using him to pay for his actual work or something like that because people, some people who do independent work might do something a little too uh, sketchy that the public will not like. It's like telling a very, uh, uh, it's like very, it's like Dave Chappelle, right? If he came out and told jokes that that's the this time of year, everybody would be outraged. He would be canceled, right? So people from back then, in 2002, and people from now, it's a bit different. And people are quick to cancel too. They don't even check research or anything. I know the podcast he's been on to. I even know who he was unless I listened to a play watch listen where he actually explained more on it on the recent up, uh, episode. Uh, that's the one with Alana Pierce and like two other friends. And I uh, I was like, all right, that's pretty cool. So that's more information than what other people are saying. Uh, a lot of people are just, they post a video so fast. It's like whoever gets the news first obviously gonna get all those people who's gonna support it I sit back I don't really care what he does as long as it's not affecting uh, me particularly um, I know maybe some gaming companies gaming companies were searching NFTs before Troll Baker so I'm not gonna blame him for it and uh, that's all I gotta say Boy, pull over, stop. If you fuck around, up shots and probably won't stop. This the life I live. Pay the price, you probably would not. I'm a hot boy, pop out bitch at Modelo time. We just about to drink, you don't need to bring out the wine. Oh, like mama see the look at you, yeah, you so fine. I'm a rowdy rough boy, look at Blossom from behind. Huh? She couldn't close her mouth cause Godzilla just, just hit her spine. Hey. Face down, ass up, how we wine and dine. She say I, I can't tell nobody, gotta tell the guys. We been doing dirt together, gotta jump and ride.